I know for damn sure that he knew who I was because he was running against me for best fighter that year and he has signed MMA fighters and so um, his feigned ignorance was uh, meant to be uh, really kind of a snarky remark to me. And so um, all of media really trying to create like a, a rivalry out of it and I was sitting on the couch, you know, post-surgery. I got surgery the day before on my knee and my thumb and um, I don't let those kind of things slide but I also, I'm, I'm a patient girl. And I wanted to respond at the most appropriate time where I thought that I could make the biggest impression that I'm not the kind of chick you make snarky remarks about. And so I waited a whole year to say something. And you know what? If I didn't win Best Fire this year, I would have waited two years. Or I would have waited three years. I would have waited for the exact time so that I could have said that. And, um, and yeah. So... Everyone seems to have picked it up, even non-boxing or sports uh, uh, outlets, uh, Newsweek, Rolling Stone. Did you think that that Mayweather comment would get such a reaction today? Yeah, I thought I'd get a big reaction. And I got a fight to sell, so great timing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not dumb. <laughs> so are you showing a page on his book? Uh, well, you know, I don't think it's his book, but I mean... Might have added a couple chapters, kind of like Frodo put on to Bilbo, but I don't think he started the book. <laughs> Has there been that? any reaction from his camp? No, I mean, I don't really know what he could say, but I'd be interested. But not surprised if I didn't hear anything at all, so.